All right. Uh, good morning, everyone, and maybe good evening, uh, Nepal and Switzerland. Uh, my name is C.R. But uh, I am currently currently uh, vice president of ENPA. I am currently in West Virginia, and I will be hosting today's talk. We have uh, today a very special <coughs> speaker from uh, Switzerland, uh, Mr. Rakesh Sandra Prajapati. Uh, Mr. Prajapati uh, has worked as an engineer in biomedical and space companies in Switzerland for the last 10 years. About his education, he completed uh, his undergraduate with electronics major from Kathmandu University in 2004 and master's in electronics and space technology from EPFL Switzerland in 2010. With an eagerness of doing something in Nepal, he started uh, mentoring students in Nepal about space technology and hands-on trainings since 2015. And finally, they were able to register Orion Space in Nepal in 2017. Orion Space is promoting satellite technology education in Nepal. And recently, Orion Space has built a Pico satellite name, uh, named as Sano Satellite 1. And uh, Mr. Prajapati's group is planning to launch it into space in the first quarter of 2021. And Mr. Prajapati is the founder and CEO of Orion Space. Let's welcome him. Uh, microphone is yours. Uh, now, Mr. Prajapati, go ahead, please. Thank you very much for the invitation and introduction. So I'm here to give us uh, the brief introduction about our activities and mainly focus on uh, satellite and Sanosat. Myself, uh, founder and CEO of Orion Space Rakesh Sundar Prajapati. So basically, um, uh, uh, I started this uh, as a sense of like giving back, like I would like to do something in Nepal, you know, having lived for 10 plus years in Switzerland. So, uh, my interest lies in space technology, so I thought, why not to initiate some program related to space technology in, in Nepal? So the basic idea is that, uh, okay, why uh, we would like to build satellite, but then we start from very small. And the basic motto is like crawl, walk, run, and fly. So basically we are still like a crawling phase. <clears throat> Um, myself, as already explained, my undergrad from KU and then master's from EPFL uh, in Switzerland, where I also worked on SwissCube during uh, my student project. The satellite was the first uh, CubeSat from Switzerland and was, uh, and was launched in 2019 from India. And at the moment, I'm working mainly in biomedical and space sector since 2011. And uh, we, as I decided to work on this uh, 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 satellite technology and also promoting space technology in Nepal, I, I started to do training in. Uh, just a sec. I should have closed the windows and doors. Sorry for that. <laughs> I didn't close. Okay. So, uh, sorry for the interruption. So basically, as soon as I decided to do this uh, 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 startup in Nepal, I started also to take a training like 2016. Uh, I had uh, satellite experiments in space from Samara in uh, Russia, and 2016 again in Japan about the CANSAT training, and like a spacecraft system design in 2017 from UK and so on, like my, uh, my interest lies in space and physics. So I would also emphasize this one, the Joint University Accelerator School, where I learned about the accelerators in 2018. So, uh, so as soon as I decided to work on this project, I also started working myself too, so that I can also my, uh, mentor the students and also have some idea like what I have to do. And basically, uh, before we start, I, would, I will give some basic introduction, uh, the basic uh, background for, for the next two, maybe three, four slides. So here we have the, uh, if we have a cannon shooting, a, uh, uh, shooting from a hill, let's say, 
And if there is no gravity, it will move straight. And in presence of gravity, we have this parabolic path. So this is called like a, a, anything acting upon like a gravity, free fall. It's a projectile. And the satellite is quite similar. Like the, uh, this, we already studied in basic physics, like the concept of, uh, you know, how the orbits, uh, the minimum requirement for the orbit. So the orbital velocity and the height. So basically satellite is also a projectile that you can launch. So basically you need to understand the fundamental projectile and satellites, they kind of like connected. So the difference is this, the projectile is, you know, dropping down and falling on the ground because of the short range. Whereas the satellite is still dropping, but, but then you miss the ground and, and you continue to circle around. And that's how you orbit. So they are quite similar. This is the fundamental. And now talking about the satellite, then you have this like uh, selection of the orbit height, like where you want to put your satellite. We have this LU, LU, low Earth orbit. Basically, here is the very nice representation I found on the internet. So you can see the flight, uh, the, the height of the flight, spy plane, and then you see Hubble telescope and then International Space Station in somewhere around the same distance, uh, like 400 kilometer. And then you have other satellites like uh, GPS or geostationary, which is around 3600. And then you have uh, uh, the moon, which is around 360,000 kilometers. So this gives you the rough estimation, like how far we are. Like when you talk about the spacecraft, like uh, International Space Station, where the astronauts are uh, orbiting the Earth, this is roughly around this height, like 400 kilometer. And then we have uh, uh, like Mio and Geo. So those these altitudes we give them name like the uh, Geo stationary or uh, and and basically what's the difference is uh, based on the uh, mission what you want to do you have to select this orbit like for example you have this Geo stationary or uh, GPS uh, or communication satellite which they need to be above a given uh, point. Let's say you have like uh, here is Nepal and you want to have a satellite for the communication, then you would prefer that the Earth rotation speed and the satellite revolving around the Earth, they match each other so that the satellite will always be above the head. You know, for that you have to select this distance because the, uh, the orbital speed is dependent upon the uh, height. And in our case, we selected this LEO, LEO orbit, which we uh, have like roughly 400, 500 kilometer. And this is because uh, it's cheaper. And uh, I, I mean, there are other parameters to compare also, like for example, communication range, because if you go very far away, you also need stronger communication. So there are some parameter or selection criteria that we choose why we want to stay at low, low Earth orbit. And then in low Earth orbit, we have also Sun Synchronous Orbit, SSO, which is here. You can see that uh, the orbit makes a fixed angle, like Sun angle, which is constant. Even the Earth is going around and the orbit is turning, the orbit angle with the Sun ray they make constant angles. So this is known as a sun synchronous. Um, later on, we will check, I mean, if we have some uh, questions from the audience, we can answer like why we choose sun synchronous and advantage of sun synchronous. But for the moment, uh, just to have a uh, slight uh, indication, like we have different height and we have also different orbit inclination to select for the orbit. And then we have uh, uh, the different type of satellite based on the size or weight. And our interest lies here, the Pico satellite. That's what we are working on. So basically, like a big satellite could be like thousands kg or more, like 500 or 1000 kg, depending upon the application. You know, that's the reason, like when we talk about satellite early days, like roughly 10 years ago, uh, these are the project by the government or NASA. They have a big funding uh, and they could do such big projects. But now we are here in the CubeSat or even like Pico and Femto or Nano Satellite. These 
there are many startup companies who are coming up working on uh, building these satellites. And then uh, roughly this started in 2007, 2010. And this, the beginning of this age is called new space. So nowadays there are many startup companies focused on these small satellites. And one of the application which is uh, very popular is IoT based application. Like you want to track something like if there is, uh, let's say, uh, I mean, last time I gave this example also, like uh, let's imagine there is the COVID uh, uh, virus uh, vaccine found, then uh, you have to ship this to, let's say, Nepal or maybe India, you know, if then you need to track, like, how is it, uh, which route is it tracking if somebody is going to take over or, uh, and also like, uh, what is the uh, uh, the transportation scenario like if the temperature is maintained or not during the transportation so all this uh, data you can send uh, and send to the satellite and satellite will give this information to the ground station where we can track the movement of the vaccine and also the transportation condition the environment because you might have to maintain the temperature of the vaccine so for this kind of thing iot based application you can use Pico nano satellite at the very small uh, height, uh, five roughly 500 kilometer orbit. So this is where we are talking now, like this is the new space and there are lots of startups uh, coming up working in this field. Okay, now we know basically this, uh, our satellite is Pico satellite, roughly less than one kg. And now we also know our orbit, it's roughly 400, 500 kilometer in distance. And how, how do we put our satellite into this orbit? Basically, we have this rocket going up. Okay, I mean, uh, uh, yeah, basically uh, rocket does not go straight up and leave the satellite in the orbit. They also turn uh, inclined to the, uh, the inclination of the orbit and then they will leave this satellite where you want to have, like begin, based on the application or the mission, you also need different uh, orbit uh, inclination or orbit height. And this is uh, completely, you know, dependent upon the rocket. So you can't just say that, okay, I want um, any other given rocket and I will put my satellite into space. That will not work because you also need to uh, put your satellite on the correct orbit and inclination. So uh, that will define how to select the uh, rocket. So basically uh, the idea is that uh, everything has to work together. So if you complete your satellite, you have to select the rocket based on your mission. Because if the, uh, the rocket that goes to International Space Station, but then you want to have your satellite to put in sun-synchronous orbit, then it will not work because sun-synchronous orbit is different from the International Space Station orbit. So if you are taking uh, a rocket that goes to International Space Station to launch your satellite, then you are not correct. So there are many things that you have to uh, think. And now uh, this is the overview, like uh, uh, overview of the uh, of the flow, like how does it work, the satellite, and a little bit of physics, physics, and a little bit of uh, the um, uh, borsa view, like how it is. And then here we have in our project we have selected SpaceX for the our launch, and. Um, the 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 cost is based based on the size or the weight of the satellite. The heavier it is, the more the rocket fuel they need to lift. Thus, it is uh, expensive. And our satellite is very small, so it's not that expensive, but still quite expensive. Like uh, we have to pay twenty five thousand euro for the launch of our satellite. So this is the uh, very brief introduction or overview. Now we have uh, Sanusat, uh, the small satellite, Pico satellite. So here I will talk about our journey and the story or basically how we started. So basically we have, uh, in the beginning we worked on the CANSAT. So this is a very good example because we are working on the project based learning. Like we are not just studying textbook or any other, you know, paper. We are also working on it. So it's called like project based learning. We do, we build and we learn. And then with the help of this CANSAT, we learn the basic fundamental building blocks of satellite. Like 
you know, what what are the basic blocks of satellite? Like here, you have this uh, uh, communication module with an antenna. So in a real satellite, also you have this antenna and communication module. So we are learning like one to one. What are the basic building blocks of satellite? And this is very helpful. This is the first step of our capacity building project. Like okay, now we are learning what is the satellite, what is the basic uh, of the satellite. And then we also started working on uh, ground station. And basically, when we talk about satellite, if you forget about the ground station, then uh, then it's a, not a complete uh, package. You know, I mean, like if you have your satellite and you launch your satellite, but then you don't have a ground station uh, to uh, uh, to receive the signal from your satellite, then uh, there is no kind of, like there is no use because you are not really sending command or receiving any signal from your satellite. So it doesn't make sense if you put your satellite in orbit or not. So you also need the ground station. So these are the project like. Uh, uh, the CANSAT gave us uh, the, the basic uh, idea about the satellite, and then we have SATNOX, which is an open source uh, uh, ground station. And this also helps us to understand how to receive the signal, and wh what are the you know, uh, 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 packet, or like what are the basic build, or le le let's say like building blocks in the, uh, in the message, like what kind of information that you want to transmit. So here uh, in this project, we also learn about that. And now, like uh, talking about the launching of a satellite, as we build uh, uh, our satellite, so this is how we, uh, our engineer, they are already in this uh, uh, online conference, uh, Mr. Chitin Thapa and Soro Porel, and other engineers from our Orion Space team, they are working on this project for quite long, and this is uh, how we started building, and this is the one uh, uh, engineering model. So this gives you the, some idea like how we started, like we make some testing on uh, breadboard and then we make small PCB and upgrade, keep on improving, testing, improving. And then, yeah, th th yeah, this is how we work. Like, you know, it's not that overnight we have the final PCB. We start from very basic and test and uh, quite improving. Like you might see some components are very different at the final stage because we realize, okay, this is not working. We need to change the component. We need to change the layout. We need to uh, compact, you know, put lots of component in a very small PCB. You can see the sides, like these are the fingers holding the PCB, you know, like, uh, so everything you need to uh, put them in a very small uh, PCB area. And this is the complete uh, uh, diagram, like what we have. So you have this uh, UHF antenna, which is uh, the measuring tape. We cut the measuring tape for, uh, in a given uh, length. I mean, uh, for the length depends upon the frequency. So uh, the uh, frequency you want to communicate defines how long the length of this antenna should be. So we cut the measuring tape into the required length and we put it uh, into our uh, satellite. And we have the payload, like this is the radiation sensor, which is measuring gamma radiation in this space. And you have uh, the magnet here. So this magnet will allow, that means once you deploy the satellite, it will start to tumble. And you want to slow down this uh, random tumbling and this magnet will help because the magnet will try to align with the earth magnetic field. That means you are bringing or detumbling the satellite after being deployed. So this is for, uh, we call this like attitude control, but then this is a passive attitude control. I mean, there could be more complex mechanism, but now we have very simple approach with the help of permanent magnet. And then we have onboard computer like a microcontroller based, uh, which will, uh, which is taking decision what to do next and what kind of information to collect. So this is the onboard computer. And then you already saw this board, uh, electrical power, uh, power supply, which you <coughs> saw uh, earlier, the PCB where all the components are. So this is for the, uh, these are the power uh, solar cell and you will take the energy from the sunlight and then you will uh, charge the battery. 
So the battery is here, the black one. So all these things like uh, this board is helping to take the power from uh, solar array and then charge the battery and then power all the subsystems. So this board is uh, kind of like a power supply circuit board. And then you have these uh, deployment suites. That means it will detect if it is still inside a pod or it is already deployed. And if it's deployed, then it will recognize, OK, I'm in space now. And then it will start to do its uh, uh, routine job, like deploying the antenna. Because antenna is like, I will go back a few slides just to re remind you. Here is the antenna that is being folded, right? So that's how we put our satellite in, inside the deployer. So it, there will be a casing, and then we put this uh, satellite inside. And once the satellite is in the space, uh, the deployer will push our satellite out. And then once the satellite is out, the switches which are being closed by this uh, clamp over here, they will release the switch. And then satellite will detect, okay, now I'm not inside the clamp, I'm outside, which means in the space. And then uh, there will be a routine to deploy this antenna. And how do we deploy is this, you can see the very fine thread here, which is the fishing line, the nylon. And we melt this uh, fishing line with the register heating. And once you melt it, and then the, uh, the antenna will deploy. The... So, here you can already see that uh, this is the uh, deployment switch and then you have okay like hysteresis plate are also there because uh, you need also damping like a lens law when the satellite is tumbling then the hysteresis uh, plate there will be some current flowing and that will kind of resist the rotation or the tumbling so this is kind of like damping so you also need this uh, hysteresis for the damping. And then, yeah, so basically these are the basic uh, component we have in our satellite. Now our satellite is complete and you can see some names who worked on the project, who contributed on our project from the early days till now. And we are very excited. And Okay, basically building satellite is not complete. This is the beginning. And to launch, you need some also uh, like uh, other uh, 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 regulatory uh, bodies that you need to inform them like, okay, we have our satellite ready, we want to launch it, and we need frequency to communicate. As like in establishing a FM radio station, you also need to get the permission to transmit the uh, FM station. Similarly, our satellite, they also need permission to transmit the signal. And for that, we have to communicate with IARU and ITU. And we have received this confirmation from IARU that we are allowed to transmit our, our signal. And the, the, the frequency they have allocated us is 436.235 megahertz. So from this frequency, you can calculate back the length of the uh, antenna. So this will be uh, uh, half half wave, I think. So you can compute uh, based on the frequency, the wavelength, and the wavelength, you can um, measure how long this antenna should be. So this is also done. We have now uh, permission to transmit our signal so uh, we can launch our satellite. Without this, we cannot launch because we cannot transmit. And we also booked our uh, ticket for the rocket. So we already paid uh, 2,000 euro as a, as a deposit to the, for the rocket ride. As you are paying like a boss ride, you also need to pay the ticket. So here also you need to pay. And this is uh, from SpaceX and the target, the, the, the plan and the, uh, the date, expected date, launch date is in February 2021. And now you can see like how the journey, journey had begun, like, you know, our students from Kathmandu University, they started working uh, in the uh, satellite project, like now they are building different types of uh, antenna over here. You can see this helical 
and uh, QH, uh, QHF. So they are building this uh, 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 different antenna to receive the signal from satellite. And then after they learn and they graduate, and now they are engineer working in Orion space, and now they are giving training. So you can see this satellite and you can see this antenna deployed. So this is our model of our satellite. And this is one of the PCB board inside the satellite. So here's uh, Mr. Jitin Thapa giving training in Sri Lanka. So we are very happy that based, uh, after seeing our work, we get invited in Pakistan, Sri Lanka. So our engineer went to Pakistan, Sri Lanka to give training. And we have also been invited to Thailand, but uh, right away then we had this COVID and then we could not travel. So hopefully maybe next year we will start our uh, training again uh, in Nepal and outside of Nepal. In Nepal, we already gave maybe five, six different colleges. So we are very happy. And here, uh, our engineers won this uh, National Young Scientist Award because of their work developing the satellite in Nepal. So this is very uh, encouraging information, or I mean, uh, news for the uh, young uh, in, uh, young students in Nepal. And here we have this complete uh, pocket cube satellite ready, uh, holding by Soro uh, Paulin. He is one of the engineers who worked on uh, OBC and communication, which you already saw that, right? Communication board and OBC board. He developed that. And along uh, on the way, like after we learned to build the satellite, we said, okay, why don't we build the training kit? So we also developed the uh, training kit, which we are using to give training to the, the university students and in, inside and outside of Nepal. So uh, this is the model we developed. I mean, uh, with the help of this kit, you can teach what is the basic building blocks of satellite and they can get closer to the real satellite, like how the real satellite is working. And these are some pictures from the training. You can see that. And here, uh, one of the uh, board, this is uh, again, OBC board. And this is uh, OBC with the communication. You can see now we are using this wire as, a, as an antenna. So basically you are learning the basic uh, functionality of satellite. We're using these uh, training kit, the boards. And beside that, we have many uh, uh, interns from around the globe, like uh, India, US, and uh, Malaysia, and of course, from Nepal. And also we have one from France. And uh, we are constantly receiving email uh, about uh, this intern position. And we are very happy that we have reached not only in Nepal, but also attracted the students from all over the globe, like there are students coming from America, like asking, hey, can we work on a project? So we are very happy to guide the students and one from France also. And we have uh, one student who came from Malaysia, like roughly six months ago, I guess. So they are also very happy with the work and we are also very happy. And also like, uh, uh, this is a little bit different because uh, this is based on my interest because I'm uh, I had the training about this uh, uh, accelerator at CERN with this, uh, the fundamental, like the, uh, how the, so the, uh, the training was three months training, like uh, uh, the first half was based on the theoretical part and the second half was based on the uh, engineering of the technology. So after the training, I thought, why don't I also start giving some basic training, not very high level, but still like a beginner level. And I had also one student who was, who is also working on this longitudinal and transverse, transverse uh, dynamics of particle accelerator. And she also gave one presentation uh, in, in, uh, in the last uh, um, uh, conference uh, that you hold. And she also was selected for CERN uh, uh, summer student, but due to COVID, uh, she could not travel. But uh, I think, I mean, uh, this is also very good news for Nepal. And now talking about like uh, our project. 
So uh, basically, uh, our satellite is ready and we are preparing to launch it. So hopefully this, uh, the, maybe the next week, we will ship the satellite to, set, to Switzerland here. And then I will give it to the launch provider in Spain. And then they will send it to America, to SpaceX. I mean, there's another company called, uh, here you already saw this. Uh, there's another here, oops, uh, one, yeah. So uh, Momentos, they are like also a uh, launch provider. So how does it work? We have our satellite and we give it to one of the launch provider called, uh, I mean, it's not important the name, like, okay. So we provide this, our, we give our satellite to the launch provider and they also collect the small satellite like ours, which is, you know, very small pocket cube, we like five centimeter cube. And they gave it to another launch provider, Momentos, and they have the big spacecraft, the satellite. And they are putting all the satellite into their own satellite. And, and, and then the Momentos will give the big satellite to SpaceX. And then the uh, SpaceX will help to launch the satellite. And the, the rocket will uh, deploy the big satellite, the Momentous uh, spacecraft, to, uh, uh, to one of the orbit, let's say, for the moment. And then the Momentous spacecraft will take our pocket cube to our uh, desired orbit. So Momentous spacecraft also uh, have uh, this um, uh, propulsion unit. So they are also move. So uh, taking our satellite to the required orbit, which is sun synchronous. And once the moment of spacecraft reaches sun synchronous orbit, then it will deploy our satellite from the spacecraft. That's how it works. Now, so we have uh, uh, all these uh, things are already, uh, you know, set. We will give the our so pocket cube, the satellite, um, hopefully next month to the uh, launch provider in Spain, and they will send it to America. And for that, the basic uh, uh, cost will, is 25,000, which I already mentioned, and we are also doing the fundraising for this. So maybe uh, uh, the audience, they can scan the barcode and help us to reach the goal, like uh, to raise 25,000K, or, or also in America, I got feedback that some of our well researchers said, okay, uh, GoFundMe is not working, so I also made this PayPal. So you can also scan the barcode and uh, you can donate us. So basically now Orion Space is like, you know, providing platform for the next generation to work in space technology. And we, are starting from very small, like a pocket cube, which is very small satellite that you can fit inside your pocket. And that's why the name like pocket cube. And, this, and the satellite is, you know, uh, very small. And uh, this is like a, uh, for the beginner, if you learn how to work or how to build pocket cube, you can build CubeSat. And after CubeSat, we can also build bigger uh, satellite. I mean, in the early uh, slide, you already saw like there are different kind of satellite. And this is our homepage. I would like to welcome to visit orionspace.com.np. And thank you very much for your attention. So now maybe I can go to uh, question answer. I think I, I saw something coming up. If you have uh, yes, like I, uh, thank you so much for your uh, wonderful presentation and your wonderful project. It is really inspiring for all of us and especially for youths. We should be proud of you and your team. Uh, so we can take questions from from audience. Like I see a couple of questions in chat box. Uh, so mm -hmm. if you want to see, you can see then take from there or I can uh, read for you. Uh, maybe you can read because <laughs> okay, I will, I will read it for you. Then uh, yeah, for others, uh, yeah, please uh, type your uh, question if you have any on chat box or simply unmute your microphone and uh, read your question. I will go through first chat box. Okay. Uh, yeah, first question is from Biswas Sarma. 
uh, he's asking, is there any advantage of um, building earth station antennas in the heights and ruralness of the Himalayas? If there is, maybe there will be less EM interference. Could we start serving international commercial missions with telemetry exchange? This is his question. Uh, yeah, this is very interesting and uh, very important question because, you know, like a uh, ground station, this is uh, you are uh, receiving signal from satellite, which is very far. So obviously the, uh, the, the signal get attenuated. So the more closer you are, you save the, you know, the signal attenuation. So this is, yes, it will help, but then you, uh, we can do the calculation like, uh, um, let's say like you went to the top of Everest. So the height gain that will help you to uh, save the attenuation. This is one part. And the other part is the uh, EM radiation from other, you know, you have, uh, if you are from the city, you get lots of other noises. So that also you can save. So yes, this is very uh, doable. And also there are many uh, similar ground station at the mountain top. And uh, I think this is very uh, good approach to have. But then we have to see the trade-off, like, you know, engineering trade-off. So I, I don't know at the, at the moment, like, um, how much advantage you gain by building somewhere on the mountaintop because then you need to have remote uh, uh, somebody to taking care of it or to to build something very in the remote place. So I think there should be also trade off uh, to check. But uh, just talking about the signal quality, yes, we can more signal. Uh, we have good quality of signal. Uh, thank you, Rakesh. We have another question from um, Ganesh Tiwari, and he's asking, do you have a company registered in Europe or Nepal? If so, uh, is it profit-based mm -hmm. or non-profit-based? Okay, thank you for the question. Uh, our company is registered in Nepal, and we register as a private company. Okay, thank you. Uh, here, another question from Dipindra Dahal. He was, uh, he's asking like, he was mentioning about the use of this satellite in sharing the information about COVID-19 vaccine. Can mm -hmm. he elaborate it or one more time? Uh, okay, sure. Basically, uh, uh, I was giving just then one example, like how satellite technology could, could be used. So based on IoT, nowadays you have this uh, emerging trend like IoT based application, like where you can keep track of uh, uh, like, okay, uh, uh, you have a vaccine and uh, let's say like uh, uh, you want to transport to some rural press. And when you are transporting the vaccine, you have to maintain maybe some given temperature requirement, right? So you don't know in between while transporting, uh, did you or were you able to maintain the temperature uh, or not? This is also crucial to answer. So we will have, for example, a small sensor, temperature sensor, and that will keep on transmitting. I mean, this uh, the sensor is very small and the signal transmission is very small, like you don't need very high power antenna or high power uh, transmitter. So you can have like, for example, GPS receiver, similar uh, uh, small chip as an example, like GPS receiver or transmitter like that, the size I'm comparing here. And then uh, what we can do is we can take the uh, measurement of the, the temperature and transmit and our satellite or any other satellite, which is like small satellite, like CubeSat uh, size, they can receive the signal and they can monitor the temperature of the vaccine uh, environment that you're tra transporting throughout the tra throughout the, the the travel you know th throughout the transportation and this is one example where we can use the satellite technology that was my point and i i, I don't know how much uh, deeply i should answer it i don't know uh, but this should give you the basic idea like what i was in inclined uh, of the application of satellite Thank you, Rakesh. There is another question from Sumin Gautam. Uh, he's asking, is it collecting some sort of 
a data like altitude or weather data or something else? Huh. So basically, uh, based on the mission, like what you want to do, you put the payload in the satellite. Like if you want to take a picture, you take a, you put the camera in your satellite. In our case, our payload is a radiation sensor. So we will measure the gamma radiation in the in the, in the space. So in the, when I say in the in the space, it will be like in the, during this orbit, which is roughly 500 kilometer, a sun synchronous orbit. So we will be uh, measuring the radiation around uh, at this orbit only. It's it's not like any random location. So where wherever the satellite is uh, traveling, we have the sensor and it is measuring the radiation level. We receive this measurement uh, and downlink. So we are sending the signal, uh, and anybody like with the with the ground station, like ham user, they can use it, and they can receive our signal because we will uh, make it uh, uh, open source, like how to decode the information, and we already have the frequency. Like uh, we will inform like at what frequency to listen and uh, how to decode the signals. Then anybody like ham user basically they can receive the signal and decode and uh, and they can do the science like our um, uh, so we are not putting any new uh, uh, science uh, it is uh, maybe it is already available but we are doing it for learning so we are measuring the radiation at in, in the orbit and then we are sending this information down and anybody with the receiver they can receive the signal and decode and then see the radiation level at this orbit. So this is our uh, mission. Besides that, we have another mission just to add. So we will also help to transmit a small packet of uh, um, messages. For example, you can send like hello and then uh, the satellite will receive this message and they will trans uh, retransmit this information to, or let's say broadcast this uh, message to other and anybody can uh, receive this signal. So we have these two uh, applications at the moment. Uh, thank you again. And we have uh, another question from Rishi Powdell. He's asking, what is the progress of establishing ground-based communication? How is NAST uh, coordinating with your project? Uh -huh. So basically we are in contact with NAST and uh, they also have uh, their, their ground station. So we can also use their ground station to receive our uh, signal. So once we launch our satellite, then uh, we can use the ground station from NAS to receive the signal. And we have our own uh, ground station also, which we already showed in the presentation. And this is one for receiving, so uh, you can receive the signal. And NAST is very supportive. We have a uh, uh, regular meeting with the engineer in NAST also. They are aware of our project. So I guess uh, we have very good relation. Okay, uh, we have another question from uh, Yuba Bandari. He's asking, do we already have a dedicated satellite for Nepal in space? So I don't, <laughs> it's, it's, uh, it, it's so unclear. Uh, uh, he has mentioned just, just you know do we already have a dedicated satellite for nepal in space means he is asking something like if nepal as a government site or something might have already mm -hmm. i don't know exactly yes. but you are okay. wondering can you ask it uh, like uh, unmute your microphone and you can ask it directly what exactly you are uh, asking about uh yuba bandariji yeah yeah um Let's hello Namaskar, Savela Namaskar. Um, uh, um, uh, um, uh, question the oily some average in oily June satellite deploy by Casson. A Tesmakuni dedicated separate satellite Nepal Kola is Yeah, it is Haino and Costa Camaru, oily some some of sunset light was already deployed. Okay, 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 okay. Um, question Kola Neva, do अब यस्तो छ एउटा चाहिँ अब नास्टकै फन नास्टले फन गरेको स्याटलाइट बनाएको छ हैन जापानमा दुई जना स्टुडेन्ट नेपाली विद्यार्थीहरु पठाएर नास्टले फन गरेर बनाएको क्युब स्याट एउटा छ हैन अब त्यसको काम चाहिँ अब यो स्टुडेन्ट प्रोजेक्ट 
नहीं हो आई ना दूसरी मॉले यहाँ स्विट्जरलैंड में आया रहा पॉर्ट दहरी को बनाव दहरी यहाँ पर नहीं मॉले क्यूब साइड में काम करे थे इस तरह उड़ा स्टूडेंट प्रोजेक्ट हो आई ना अंतिस को काम से अब पिक्चर लीने बनने चाहिए उनका अब त्यों से अब नास्त को अथवा नेपाल को सैटलाइट बनो ना ये उड़ा अंतिस तेरे आम्र बनी अब नेपाल में बने को आई मैं आपने इंजीनियर अब जन फेब्रुअरी तेरो लॉन्च को आशा सम आशा करेगा सम तो त्यो बाहेक त्यो बाहेक जन अब औरो सैटलाइट औरो पनी छान नहीं ना जून जन अम्ले डाटा लीना सॉकिंग सा कुने जन अब पैसा तीनों पर से डाटा लीना लाई कुने जन फ्री में आउने सब सा अब जब तेरो लैंड साइट औरो छा नहीं ना जून अन्य औ की को लागी चाइन है वो तो बुझने पड़े जिससे अब आस्ती ना और कोई काम होता है री है ना अब तो अब लैंड्स ज़मीन को ती मूव करे बन रहे हैं ना को लागी यानी अब तो पिक्चर और लीन पड़े ना कहाँ निरे डिजास्टर को कहाँ निरे देरे घर आप कैसा का पता डैमेज देरे बहुत साइन है तो इस तो लागी चाइ हमरे पैसा तेरे र प्लैनेट एक्स के प्लैनेट लैब संगपनी हमले ते पिक्चर और डिली ना सकें तो इस ते गरे र सिताई में सिताई में नाले डायरेक्ट सिताई से आई ना हमले से यूएन को रिक्वेस्ट यूएन लाइट से हमले रिक्वेस्ट करना सकें जब जब उसको मैं डिजास्टर पाव उल्लेज से यूएन यूएन ओ एस ए लाइट से यू तेला रिक्वेस्ट कर रहे थे यहाँ हम लाइसेंस अब इमेज जरूर चाहिए बने बने थे अन्य यूएन ले थे यू सैटलाइट को और यू कंपनी और उन्हें लाइसेंस रिक्वेस्ट पढ़ाऊं सर नेपाल में थे इस तो आई पॉरी को उन्हें ले थे अब तब इनको सैटलाइट से जो तीन खेलते नेपाल बाटा नेपाल को मैथी बाटा पास होन पैसा तीनों पर देने तो अरे कुर्नु पर नहीं होता कि नहीं कि अब कौसे को सैटलाइट ले जाएं मौसे फोटो खींचे रे दिन सुबह ना लाए उन्हें लाए कंपलसन से इंसाइन है आई ना उन्हें रुले जाएं आपने इच्छा ले जाएं खींचे रा यूएन को रिक्वेस्ट मां दिने हो अन्य और को बने कुछ आप लाए तू का तू चाहिए just just a quick follow up just especially just communication ko lagi just a television program ko telecast ko lagi nepal dur sanchar go through communication ko lagi aba testo ko lagi hamle recent pahila pahila hamle jasto aba indian satellite haru ko piggy back garera unhar ko support leka thiyau ya bahir bada leka thiyau aba testo capability cha ki chaina hami sanga existing current satellite haru jun deploy bhaya ka chau अरे जैन त्यो जैन छह है ना त्यो छह इन द सेंस आमले पैसा तेरे र ली रहा सम सर्विस अरु तेरी बुझा मिल और उसका सैटलाइट हो है ना अन्य जस्ते अरे ते ही बार जैन यो जति पैसा तेरे नुपुर नहीं होना अंते पैसा जैन और को बोलूँ ना साल एक बार समय लग लगने पैसा बोलूँ से हमले सैट यो कम्युनिकेशन को लागी जैसे आपने सैटलाइट बनाने ही बनने पूरा जैसे आकु सा है ना अब अस्तित्व फ्रांस में बनी कम्युनिकेशन मिनिस्ट्री आउने बात है और वहाँ लिख पूरा बनी गानु बात है यो टेंडर बनी सेलेक्ट बनी सब इन्हें बोल सके थे वो पच्ची बीच में रोके के कोई के बाहर ये प्रोग्रेस तो मैंने था तो अब कहाँ नहीं रह पुगी सर किस रा कुन फेज में छोड़ बने जैसे मलाई था बने। थैंक यू युवजी एंड राकेश। अनदर क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम बिश्वास सरमा। ही इज़ आस्किंग इज़ इट पॉसिबल टू अवॉइड पेइंग द 25,000 कॉस्ट ऑफ लंचिंग इन द फ्यूचर बाय कोलैबोरेटिंग विद इंटरनेशनल स्पेस एजेंसीज लाइक � a small satellite as a secondary payload in one of their missions. What is your question? This is a very good question. And this is a shock. Now, I am like that. I am not going to sponsor it. 
अब आईएसआरओ ले पनि त्यस्तो प्रोभिजनहरु दिएर इन्डियन स्टुडेन्टहरुको स्याटेलाइटहरु चाहिँ लन्च गरिदिराखेको छ हैन अनि अब यो स्पेस एक्स ले पनि अब युएस मा पनि धेरै वटा प्रोग्राम छ अ के राइट नाउ मैले ठ्याक्क नाम चाहिँ बिर्से त्यो प्रोग्रामको नाम आई गेस इन्स्पायर हो कि के भन्ने प्रोग्राम छ हैन जहाँ चाहिँ यो स्टुडेन्टहरुले स्याटेलाइट बनाउने तर त्यो बनाएको स्याटेलाइट लाई चाहिँ फ्री मा लन्च गर्दिने त्यस्तो गरेर क्यानाडामा नि छ हैन क्यानाडामा चाहिँ यो ओपन युनिभर्सिटीहरु सबलाई कम्पिटिसन को लागि खोला गर्दिन्छ र युनिभर्सिटीहरुले कम्पिटिसनमा अप्लाई त्यो स्याटेलाइट को डिजाइन अप्लाई गरिसकेपछि विनर ले चाहिँ फ्री मा लन्च पाउने हो त्यस्तै गरेर युरोप मा पनि ईसा ले त्यस्तै गर्दैछ उनले पनि लन्च एर स्याटेलाइट भनेर कम्पिटिसन गर्दिन्छ र युरोप भरिको युनिभर्सिटी स्टुडेन्टहरुले अप्लाई गरेर जस जसले चाहिँ आफ्नो त्यो मिशन मेन अब स्याटेलाइट लन्च गर्ने भनेको मिशन बेस्ड सेलेक्सन हुन्छ कुन स्याटेलाइट को के काम हो हैन त्यो भनेको मिशन भयो अनि त्यो आधारमा चाहिँ उनीहरुले सेलेक्ट गरेर चाहिँ लन्च को लागि ए विनर भनौं न एउटा क्राइटेरिया रे क्राइटेरिया मध्ये एउटा क्राइटेरिया मिशन बेस्ड हुन्छ के मिशन को लागि भनेर अनि त्यो भइसकेपछि विनर लाई चाहिँ ईसाले फ्री मा ईसा अथवा ईजा ईएसए हैन नासा जस्तै युरोप को उले चाहिँ फ्री मा लन्च गर्दिन्छ यो भइरहेछ सबैतिर जाक्सामा पनि सायद त्यस्तो हो छ हैन म ठ्याक्क मलाई जाक्साको चाहिँ थाहा भएन तर जाक्साको चाहिँ अर्को एउटा के छ भन्दाखि किबो क्युब भन्ने छ त्यो चाहिँ किबो क्युब भनेको चाहिँ इन्टरनेशनल स्पेस स्टेशनमा चाहिँ एउटा स्याटेलाइट लन्च गर्ने एउटा सेक्सन छ भनौ न त्यो चाहिँ जापानको एउटा त्यो इन्टरनेशनल स्पेस स्टेशनमा त एउटा एउटा सेक्सन सेक्सन सबैको छ युएस को क्यानाडाको जापानको हैन यसरी युरोपको अनि जापानको सेक्सनमा चाहिँ यो स्याटेलाइट लन्च गर्ने सेक्सन पनि छ अनि त्यो सेक्सन चाहिँ किबो क्युब भन्ने प्रोग्रामले जानिन्छ र त्यसमा पनि हामीले चाहिँ एप्लाई गर्न सक्छौँ हाम्रो स्याटेलाइट चाहिँ अब नेपालमा यस्तो बना अथवा अरूले पनि एप्लाई गरेर अनि किबो क्युबमा विजेता भइसकेपछि चाहिँ उनीहरूले चाहिँ फ्रीमा लन्च गरिदिन्छ सो दिस इज नट अ न्यू कन्सेप्ट होइन यो कन्सेप्ट भई नै आएको छ र हामीले चाहिँ अब नेपालको गभर्नमेन्ट अथवा इन्जिनियरिङ युनिभर्सिटिजको एप्रोचबाट चाहिँ लिङ्क गरेर यस्तो गर्न सकिन्छ भने चाहिँ फ्युचरमा राम्रै हुन्छ ओके थ्याङ्क यू अनदर क्वेशन इज व्हाट इज द लाइफ टाइम अफ दिस सेटेलाइट ओके दिस इज भेरी इन्ट्रेस्टिङ किन भन्दाखि एउटा चाहिँ के हुन्छ भन्दाखि 25 वर्ष भन्दा कमको हुनु पर्छ अथवा 20 वर्ष भन्दा कमको हुनु पर्छ भनेर रिक्वायरमेन्ट छ हैन किन भन्दाखि यो डिब्रिजहरु बढिरहेछ सेटेलाइट अथवा यो स्पेसमा त्यही भएर हामीले एप्लाई गर्दाखेरि चाहिँ हामीले भन्नु पर्छ हाम्रो स्याटेलाइट को लाइफ चाहिँ बिस वर्ष अथवा पच्चिस वर्ष भन्दा कम हुन्छ त्यो अब लाइफ भन्नाले के बुझ्नु पर्यो त्यो पनि अरू सबैको अरू अडियन्सको लागि लाइफ टाइम भन्नाले के बुझ्नु पर्ने स्याटेलाइट अर्बिटमा घुमिरहेको हुन्छ र त्यो चाहिँ अर्बिट डिके भइराखेको हुन्छ अर्बिट डिके मतलब त्यो हाइट चाहिँ घटिरहेको हुन्छ अनि जब चाहिँ रफली सय किलोमिटर दुई सय पचास सय आई थिङ्क एराउन्ड सय किलोमिटर जस्तो पुगेपछि त्यो चाहिँ नष्ट हुन्छ डिसइन्टिग्रेट त्यो फ्रिक्सन त्यो एटमोस्फियरमा होइन जलेर नष्ट हुन्छ अनि त्यो भनेको चाहिँ अब लाइफ टाइम भयो क्या हाम्रो लन्च गरिसकेपछि घुम्नै घुम्दै गर्छ त्यो झर्दै गर्छ हाइट अनि त्यो चाहिँ सर्टेन हाइट हन्ड्रेड किलोमिटरको वरिपरि पुगिसकेपछि नष्ट हुन्छ सो दिस इज द लाइफ टाइम होइन अनि यो लाइफ टाइम चाहिँ हामीले के प्रुभ गर्नुपर्छ हाम्रो स्याटेलाइट चाहिँ लेस देन ट्वेन्टी ट्वेन्टी फाइभ इयर्स हुन्छ भनेर प्रुभ गर्नुपर्छ यो चाहिँ अब एरोडाइनामिक्स यता उताबाट होइन स्याटेलाइटको साइज स्याटेलाइटको वेट यो सबै हेरेर वी क्यान क्याल्कुलेट होइन अर्बिटल भ्यालुसिटी हेरेर वी क्यान क्याल्कुलेट त्यो भयो अब अर्को एन्सर यसमा अलिकति अब के भन्न सकिन्छ भने हाम्रो स्याटेलाइट कहाँ छ त भन्दाखेरि फाइभ हन्ड्रेड किलोमिटरको अर्बिटल उसमा छ डिस्टेन्समा अनि त्यहाँ भएको स्याटेलाइट धेरै जसो चाहिँ वान इयर टु इयर्स होइन लेस देन लेस देन टु इयर्स भनौँ न अब इट डिपेन्ड्स होइन कुन हाइटमा छ अब एट हन्ड्रेड किलोमिटरमा छ कि फोर हन्ड्रेडमा छ कि होइन अब टु हन्ड्रेड किलोमिटर पुग्यो भने चाहिँ हप्ता दिनमै सकिन्छ नष्ट हुन्छ फोर हन्ड्रेडतिर गयो भने रफली एक वर्ष जस्तो हुन्छ होइन फाइभ हन्ड्रेड भयो भने एक वर्ष भन्दा अलि धेरै हुन्छ सो इट डिपेन्ड्स अपन द एल्टिट्युड हा हाउ हाई यू डिप्लोय द स्याटेलाइट भन्ने हुन्छ सो त्यो सेन्समा हामीले हामीले रोजेको चाहिँ फाइभ हन्ड्रेड किलोमिटर र त्यसबाट हाम्रो स्याटेलाइटको प्यारामिटरहरू राखेपछि चाहिँ हाम्रो एस्टिमेटेड भ्याल्यु लाइफ टाइम भनेको रफली वन इयरको वरिपरि आउँछ ओके थ्याङ्क यू देन अनदर क्वेसन फ्रम हेम भट्ट 
he's asking do you have a plan for another such satellite in recent future if yes for what purpose uh, yeah, thank you very much for the question i know i mean you have a project got it up a camp so you want to personalize to go to go in a telegram that you are in space go with the main theme thank you and the you nepal ma chai yo space sambandhi opportunities haru dinu ko lagi ho haina job create garne r&d kaam haru garne haina and this ko lagi ho so we have a long term vision and tei anusar le chai ab we are already thinking about second satellite already hamro discussion haru pani bhayira cha hamro engineer haru sanga haina ra second satellite ko lagi chai hamle camera rakhne chai plan cha okay thank you uh, there is another uh, question from kim he's asking the cost of uh, uh, 25000 is just for one time pay or we have to pay subsequently in future for further release maintenance and others uh basically the uh, launch cost matter ho the one rocket company la tirna ko lagi ho haina and the le chai satellite lai mathi space ma kaha nira pura hun pani agi nai bani sakya hamro orbit define huncha tya pugi sake pachi usko kaam sakyo ra tyo orbit tyo launch ko matra kharcha bhayo ra service maintenance bhane ko hamro hudaina satellite ko haina ani tele garda yo bhane ko one time pay ho ra yo bhane ko launch garna ko lai rocket launch tyo hami bus ma bhada tire jasto kafan pokhra jane bela ma बस को टिकट किने जस्ते और टू स्पेस को टिकट किने को जस्तो मानो ना एक छुट्टी तीरने हो और तब और एक छुट्टी जाना लाय और एक छुट्टी तीरन पड़े। Okay, uh, another question is from Ayush Mani Tirfati. He is asking what would we? Uh, oh sorry, what would you recommend to a high school student who wants to learn and be part of Nepal space exploration in future? This is very interesting. Kine you know? ma. यो पनि हाम्रो एउटा प्लानमै भएको अथवा प्रोजेक्टको हो हैन हामीसँग जुन मैले सुरुमा स्लाइडमा देखाए थे क्यान्सर्ट भनेर अनि त्यो क्यान्सर्ट हामीले चाहिँ स्कुलको लागि टार्गेट गरेर पनि हामीले बनाइरहेका छौँ र त्यसको लागि चाहिने एजुकेशनल मेटेरियल पनि बनाइरहेका छौँ र आज मात्र पनि एकजना अनलाइन एजुकेसन प्रोभाइड गर्नको लागि नेपालमा काम गर्दै हुनुहुन्छ म वहाँ के कंटैक्ट करूँ थे रहाँ को रिक्वेस्ट के स्कूल स्टूडेंट को लगी स्पेस संबंधी एजुकेशनल मेटेरियल जस्ते खान एकेडमी वहाँ को लगी काम करते हुए वहाँ को लगी स्कूल को स्कूल स्टूडेंट टार्गेट कर स्पेस रिनेटेड कोर्स बनाने पे भाषा और हमें आज मात्र पूरा भग सो आई एम अल्सो पोजिटिव इंक्लाइन ये टपिक में है हमीसंग किक कैंसर फर स्कूल स्टूडेंट बनेर इसमें हम काम भैर रि एड कर हम ये इंजीनियरिंग लेवल में हमें अल्ले ट्रेनिंग दी सके अब स्कूल में जान बाकी है इंजीनियरिंग को हमीसंग टीचिंग मेटेरियल अथवा मेनुअल्स अभी ट्रेनिंग किटर सब नहीं रेडी स्कूल को लगी अब काम हो Okay, thank you. Uh, let's hear from uh, Ayush. Hey, Ayush, are you a uh, high school student? By the way, you can unmute your microphone and uh, speak. Just yes, work. I am okay. a high school student from Nepal, Bhairama. Oh, great! So, how did you learn about this, uh, you know, NPA talk series and today's presentation? Uh, my actually, my brother shared it about it and. I was very interested regarding space so I want to learn it bit so I joined it Great great uh, good luck brother keep in touch with Npop keep following our Facebook page and we'll be you know uh, providing like this interesting talks for you guys maybe uh, good to see you thank you Thank you mm -hmm. uh, We have another question from uh, Suman Gautam uh, he is asking there is one ground station your team construct in pnc nepal will that ground station works for this or need to construct another one uh ground station nai ho aba tesma kei garnu pardaina sayad ab ma sanga chai tesko update chaina aile kun stage ma cha last time hamle approach garda khai chai chali ra thena asti ko last time ha uri ke pani parera khoi ke bhara haina यदि तो चलि रहे ग्राउंड स्टेशन यूज करें हम सैटेलाइट को डाटा लिख सकता 
यदि चलिरा छैन भने हाम्रो इन्जिनियरहरुसँग कन्ट्याक्ट गरेर त्यसको मर्मतको लागि हामी तयार छौ अस्ति हामीले रिच आउट पनि गर्न खोजेका थियौ तर अहिलेको स्टेजमा चाहिँ ग्राउन्ड स्टेशनको स्टेज कस्तो छ चाहिँ मलाई चाहिँ थाहा भएन मेरो इन्जिनियरहरुलाई चाहिँ सायद इन्फर्म होला मलाई चाहिँ अहिले थाहा भएन Okay, thank you. We have another question from Dr. Chiranjibi Lamsal. Uh, he is asking, have you approached Science Ministry in Nepal for help, collaborative work in future? If so, what is their response? I think we have to do target We have to do a lot of work. पहिला गफ गर्नु भन्दा बरु काम गरौ काम गरेर स्याटेलाइट एउटा हातमा भएपछि अनि कहाँ जानु पर्ने अब यो फन्डिङ को लागि जस्तै अहिले हामीले सुरुमा फन्डिङ मागेनौ हैन पहिला हामी स्याटेलाइट रेडी गरेम अब हामी फाइनल स्टेजमा छौ स्याटेलाइट अब नेक्स्ट वीक नेपालबाट मलाई पठाउने मैले यहाँ स्पेनमा स्पेनबाट अमेरिका पठाउने स्टेज पुगिसके छम हैन अहिले हामी काम गरेर देखाउँछौ त्यसपछि अनि कहाँ भेट्नु पर्ने अनि फन्डिङ को लागि अथवा पछि कोलाबोरेसन को लागि चाहिँ अलि पछि नै गरौँ भनेरै साइडमा राखेरै अगाडि बढेको भएर चाहिँ हामीले यो सम्बन्धी चाहिँ खासै अरूसँग एप्रोच गर्न चाहिँ भ्याएको छैन अब मोस्ट लाइकली अब एक दुई महिनामा अब यो कोभिडको अलिकति रिल्याक्स भइसकेपछि चाहिँ हामी यो काम पनि अब सुरु गर्छौँ किनकि अब हाम्रो कामहरू देखेपछि हामीले पनि भन्न पाए नि नेपालमा गर्न सकिन्छ हामीलाई सहयोग चाहियो भनेर if we have uh, more questions, we can take a uh, few more questions. Please unmute your microphone and raise your question if you have any. Hello. Hello. Azur. Yes, sir. Go uh, ahead. Uh, Rakesh, sir. Uh, very nice talk. Uh, very good work. Thank you so much. I'm Marudra Kafle. Uster, Massachusetts. Namaste. Namaste. Atavale, you are a very good work. You are a very good work. You are a very good work. Thank you so much for that. Mera, uh, follow up question. Kya dio, NPA le jun question NPA about team bada, what is the lifetime? And I mean, follow up question. Say, the answer of this of Maza, Ek Borsa Pacitesco orbits and decay one while one is a maximum one year collagimate tele, egg precisely come Garnibokiko, Tespacito degrade on Exactly. I अब यो डिसेमिक रेट नै हुन्छ कि बिस्तारै यो अब यो अर्थ आई थिङ भिडियोमा आइरा चाहिँ यो अर्थ भयो यो निर चाहिँ स्याटेलाइट घुमिरा छ भने अनि हरेक चोटी चाहिँ यो के हुने भयो एटमोस्फेरिक एटमोस्फेरिक ड्रैग ले चाहिँ त्यसलाई चाहिँ उ उ हुने भयो यो चाहिँ त्यही भएर अघि मैले भने स्याटेलाइटको प्यारामिटर भनेको क्रस सेक्सनल एरिया र त्यसको मास ले डिफाइन गर्छ ड्रैग अनि त्यो ड्रैग डिफाइन भइसकेपछि फेरि अब यहाँ निर अझ इन्ट्रेस्टिङ के छ भन्दाखि Exactly, Gorda Hiri same. Um, uh, this is a little tricky. More I'll get the cosy buzoni when it's so serious. Well, in energy could trauma zone, I know of a high altitude, sir, higher potential energy. Top of a high altitude got got this and vasa energy. Potential energy got it and kinetic energy born for this one. Speed take them high in South about orbital distance, but the bunny, I mean, no second. Uh, speed orbital speed sense which is tall on the day they did body right uh, until they got that and keep on the over period that drag my head they over it that is at the speed there and so they did the drag force boards again okay? i know until they got that in johnson till not stone the answer johnson's heart is answer until as an exponentially jardins again so we lifetime say of a graph here new one is that is also suruma the eggdoms are not happy but it's on some chit to chit okay जति जति झर्देको त्यति त्यति काइनेटिक एनर्जी अथवा स्पीड बढ्यो त्यसले गर्दा ड्रैग पनि बढ्यो त्यसले गर्दा झन् चाँडो झर्यो त्यसले गर्दा चाहिँ हाम्रो एकदम स्टिफ स्लोप हुन्छ लास्ट लास्टमा आइपुग्दा सम्म सुरुमा चाहिँ अलि बिस्तारै बिस्तारै झर्दै गर्छ अनि लास्ट लास्ट जति जति झर्यो त्यति त्यति चाँडो ड्रप हुन्छ त्यसले गर्दा यो ड्रप हुँदै गर्दाखेरि सम्म चाहिँ हामीले रफली हन्ड्रेड फिफ्टी हन्ड्रेड किलोमिटर पुगिसक्दाखेरि चाहिँ हाम्रो एजुमसन एजुमसन त होइन तर इट विल ह्यापन होइन एटमोस्फेयर में चाहिँ त्यो जलेरै नष्ट हुन्छ स्याटेलाइट चाहिँ जल्छ जसरी यो मेट्रोडहरु जल्छ नि ग्राउन्डमा हिट हुन अगाडि त्यसरी नै स्याटेलाइट पनि त्यसको कम्पोनेन्टहरु त्यही नै नष्ट भएर जलेर नष्ट हुन्छ सो वी ह्याभ हाम्रो एल्टिट्युड अब कति छ भने 500 देखि 
लेट्स से 100 किलोमीटर को रेंज सम्म त्यति सम्म चाहिँ झर्दै गर्दाको टाइम 1 1 इयर हो भने 1 इयर सम्म चाहिँ स्याटेलाइट ले काम गर्ने भयो तर अर्को कुरा के छ भन्दाखि हामीले युज गर्ने स्याटेलाइट बनाउँदा युज गर्ने कम्पोनेन्टहरु पनि अफ द सेल्फ कम्पोनेन्ट भनेर भन्छ जसको लाइफ चाहिँ यो रेडिएसन मा चाहिँ धेरै बेट टिक्न सक्दैन हैन सस्तो सामान भनु न एकिसिमले अनि यसको फाइदा के छ भन्दाखि सस्तो भए पनि ठीकै छ किनकि हामीसँग 1 वर्षको लाइफ छ भने चाहिँ मलाई 10 वर्ष टिक्ने सामान त चाहिदैन त्यसले गर्दा पनि हामी चाहिँ अफ द सेल्फ कम्पोनेन्ट युज गर्ने भन्ने कुरा भयो जस्तै अब अब अलि राम्रै बनाउने हो भने हामीसँग कम्पोनेन्टहरु चाहिँ मिलिटरी ग्रेड को कम्पोनेन्टहरु पनि पाइन्छ कमर्स कमर्शियल ग्रेड को नहेरी गर्न मिलिटरी ग्रेड को कम्पोनेन्ट लिनु भए पनि हुन्छ त्यो गर्नु भयो भने अथवा अझै राम्रो लिनु भयो भने रेडिएसन हार्ड भनेर भन्छ रेडिएसन हाई लेभल रेडिएसन मा पनि काम गर्ने कम्पोनेन्टहरु हुन्छ त्यो भनेको सिल्डिङ अलि धेरै भएको कम्पोनेन्ट हो हैन काम चाहिँ सेम नै हो हैन अब माइक्रो कन्ट्रोलर पनि नर्मल माइक्रो कन्ट्रोलर कस्टम के यो कन्ज्युमर बेस इलेक्ट्रोनिक्स मा युज हुने कन्ट्रोलर माइक्रो कन्ट्रोलर लिने कि मिलिटरी हरु बनाउने इक्विपमेन्ट मा युज हुने कम्पोनेन्ट युज गर्ने कि अथवा रेडिएसन हार्ड स्पेस मा युज हुने कम्पोनेन्ट युज गर्ने सो वी ह्याभ दिस फ्रीडम के कुन कस्तो कम्पोनेन्ट लिने तर हाम्रो लाइफ अब 1 वर्षको छ भने मैले किन रेडिएसन हार्ड वाला कम्पोनेन्ट युज गरिरहेको मे कुरा मात्र हो हैन सो देयर आर मेनी डिफरेंट इन्जिनियरिङ ट्रेड अफ यो कुराहरुमा अब कुनै सेन्समा चाहिने पनि सकेला हैन माइक्रो कन्ट्रोलर एउटा चाहिँ अलि राम्रो राख अरु चाहिँ ठिकको राख भन्न पनि हुन सक्छ अब यो सबै नै हेर्नु पर्छ हामीले र यो अर्बिटल उ बाट नै निस्किन्छ यो लाइफ टाइम भनेको हामीले सिमुलेसन पनि गरेर हेर्छौ र त्यहाँ हामीले यो स्याटेलाइट को लागि अप्लाई गर्दा खेरि मैले लन्च गर्ने भनेर भनेर अप्लाई गर्दा खेरि चाहिँ यो पनि प्रूफ गर्नु पर्छ कि हाम्रो स्याटेलाइट को प्यारामिटरहरु ले चाहिँ लाइफ टाइम चाहिँ बिलो 20 हो कि 25 इयर्स उनीहरु रि रिक्वायरमेन्ट नै छ किन भन्दाखि त्यो भन्दा धेरै बेर बस्नको मतलब चाहिँ त्यहाँ निर जंक भएर बस्छ यति नै हो खास बेसिक कुराहरु चाहिँ थ्यांक थ्यांक यू सो मच आई वाज इन्ट्रेस्टिङ कुरा मलाई म त मेरो त स्याटेलाइट एरिया हैन तर मैले एउटा इन्ट्रेस्टिङ कुरा त्यो स्याटेलाइट को विषय स्टडी गर्दा के पाए भने तो जंक यार्ड अर्बिट भन्दै रहेछ नि राकेश सर हजुर 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 भनेको अलिक हायर अल्टिट्युडमा जाने स्याटेलाइट चाहिँ त्यो मेन्डेटोरीली त्यो जुन उसको लाइफ स्प्यान सकेपछि त्यो त्यसलाई चाहिँ जंक यार्डको लगेर फाल्नु पर्ने रहेछ के इन्ट्रेस्टिङली हो राइट राइट हजुर थ्यांक यू Alright, thank you. Uh, Hello, Rajan. Do you have any more questions? Yeah, go ahead. Uh, 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 Sir, namaskar. La, my list is. Bakhari, what is your thought now? Because you, Rudra Sir, le, is you satellite co life type co bare mein bakhari chhodne mein Rajesh ji tha, hai na? Okay. My list is. What is your thought? I think just today, my Rajesh, Kere Rajesh ji le, is you satellite co jati mathi gaye, jati theeri pora gaye. This co life time co borde jansa. This co one example co kya hone? You, hamro moonsa ni, thandra ma. चन्द्रमा को पनि लाइफ टाइम चाहिँ एउटा सर्टेन लाइफ टाइम हुन्छ यसको चाहिँ लाखौं करोडौं वर्ष भयो किन भन्दा खेरि चाहिँ यो अर्थबाट धेरै टाढा छ अनि यसको चाहिँ एभ्री टाइम यसले इनर्जी डिके गरिरा हुन्छ नि त प्रत्येक सेकेन्ड इनर्जी लुज गरिरा हुन्छ त्यो भएर चाहिँ यसको around 1 to 2 cm chai earth ko nazik aaudai jancha ra yesko consequence chai ke ho bhanda kheri aile hamle total total solar eclipse chai dekhna paunchau haina ra aba 100 200 300 400 200 pasar chai yo total solar eclipse ko timing huncha ni to chai khatai jancha ra yo hamle chai annular eclipse ma total solar eclipse chai dekhna paune sambhavana kam hudai jancha yo chai mai अ अनि त्यो वाले भन्नु हो कि 400-500 किलोमिटर मा चाहिँ जति जति तल आयो त्यति त्यति तल जान्छ नि यसको चाहिँ 1 2 इयर्स भन्दा बढी लाइफ टाइम हुँदैन भन्नुको कारण चाहिँ सायद त्यो होला र यो चाहिँ मैले यो जेनेरल रिलेटिभिटी पढ्दा खेरि थाहा पाएको कुरा हो आई थिंक कुरा त त्यही नै हो जस्तै अब तपाईको त्यो मुनको पनि यो अब त्यो के टाइड्स हरु आउँछ नि हाई टाइड्स लो टाइड्स त्यो भनेको त एक किसिमले एनर्जी लस नै हो नि टाइड आउनु भनेको मुनको उबाट अट्रैक्सन उले गर्दा त आई थिंक मैले फेरि पढ्नु पर्ने हुन्छ मुन चाहिँ नजिक भन्दा नि टाडीको टाडिन्दै गा हो कि भन्ने चाहिँ जस्तो मलाई लाग्छ तर म त्यसको कुरा हेर्नु पर्छ म के हेर्नु पर्छ त्यो दुई तीनवटा एक्सपेक्ट छ हुन्छ हैन अनि यसमा चाहिँ हामीले जस्तै जस्तै भेनस ट्रान्जिट हुन्छ भेनस ट्रान्जिट हुँदाखेरि अर्थलाई चाहिँ पुरै त्यसले ढाक्दैन हुन सामान्य एउटा टटमा देखिन्छ 
अब यो अख जो मुन को हम कस्तो हो भादा खेल जति यो मुन को डिस्टेंस चेंज होते जाना खेल हम पूरे तो एरिया टोटल सोलर इक्लिप्स होने संभावना कम तो बुझे मैं तर खास अर्बिटल मेकानिक्स ये मैं सुरू में दुईटा एवं स्लाइड दुईटा स्लाइड जी राखे थे मत डिटेल में गए है मैं देखा खोजे ते हो वी निड टू अंडरस्टैंड योग प्रोजेक्टाइल अर्बिटल मेकानिक्स अस पच्चीस एटिच्यूड कंट्रोल है मैं तो मैग्नेट को करें है मैं तो डिटेल टेक्नोलॉजी मतलब ऊ नए बेसिक म फिर अलग रिपीट कर सैटेलाइट को कुरा निखे हमने अर्बिटल मेकानिक्स इज वेरी इंपोर्टेंट है अर्बिटल मेकानिक्स में स्पेस क्राफ्ट सैटेलाइट जे भाई पॉइंट को रूप में लिंक रेस को पाथला हम हे कसरी कता कता गई रहनी जस्ते सैटेलाइट घूमि अर्थ पर आपको एक्सिश में रोटेट करना पुल दिख भन न सैटेलाइट लो लाइक प्लेन भी सीफ्ट हो जो जो प्लेन में रिवल्व कर रहा हो सैटेलाइट अर्थ को एक्सिश को स्पिन ने प्लेन भी के होने भाई अलग पुस होने भाई भन एक किसिम के तो ये ये कुछ सब भाई सो यू हेव टू अंडरस्टैंड अर्बिटल मेकानिक्स ये अर्बिटल मेकानिक्स को आए है कसरी चाहिए अर्बिट यो प्लेन चेंज होने प्लेन सीफ्ट अब अगि नी मैं अगि एट इजापल के दिए भादी हम सैटेलाइट एटा ग्रुप ने कलेक्ट करो ग्रुप ने फिर अर्क ग्रुप लो ग्रुप ने सान सान सैटेलाइट आपको ठूल सैटेलाइट में राखी सके तो ठूल सैटेलाइट स्पेस एक्स लिखा भे फिर मैं के ठूल सैटेलाइट लंच कर स्पेस एक्स ले कता लू पर्ने लग दी तर हम रिक्वायर्ड अर्बिट में तो लगे स्पेस एक्स ले फिर हम ठूल सैटेलाइट ने के हम रिक्वायर्ड अर्बिट में लग दी अभी हम रिक्वायर्ड अर्बिट में लगी दी सके ठूल सैटेलाइट ने हम सो सैटेलाइट छोड़ दी हम खोजे अर्बिट में सो दिस इज वेरी इंपोर्टेंट अर्बिट चेंज हो ठूल सैटेलाइट रकेट छोड़ देखो अर्बिट बा हमें इंटेन्सन कह अर्बिट में जाने तेज जान पे सो इट्स वेरी इंट्रेस्टिंग अर्बिट चेंज को लगी चाहिए कुछ डेल्टा भी क्याकुलेसन के सो एटा अर्बिटल मेकानिक्स पे पीछे अब सैटेलाइट हम सैटेलाइट फाइनली आपको अर्बिट में गए भन है हम लोग सैटेलाइट सन सिंक्रोनस अर्बिट हो तैंतर छोड़ दी सके अब अलग हमें मैग्नेट यूज कर तर हम पची को नेक्स्ट सैटेलाइट को हमें कैमेरा राख्ने वाले सोची रहें अब को केस में यदि कैमेरा छो कैमेरा तो के होने पर्यटन अर्थ में फर्काउन पर्यटन अगिसम सैटेलाइट पॉइंट को रूप में हमें हेन सक रहने अब सैटेलाइट पॉइंट को रूप में हेन मिले क्योंकि पॉइंट भी अब कता फर्काने भाई इंपोर्टेंट भाई सैटेलाइट में भग कैमेरा अर्थ में फर्किन पे सैटेलाइट को अब डाइमेंशन है डाइनामिक्स भन सैटेलाइट को डाइ डाइनामिक्स अब डाइनामिक्स को एटिच्यूड कंट्रोल एडिशीएस है एटिच्यूड कंट्रोल एंड डिटर्मिनेशन में आँच फिर सो वी हेव टू डाइनामिक्स भन न अर्बिटल डाइनामिक्स पीछे स्पेस क्राफ्ट को डाइनामिक्स अस पच्चीस तो ट्रांसफर्मेशन तो कोडिनेट ट्रांसफर्मेशन करूर्ने अलग आई वुड लाइक टू एड वन थिंग कि एक कुछ में हम पुलचुक चारजा इंजीनियर होना दे आर वर्किंग अन प्रो ये प्रोजेक्ट में ये अर्बिटल मेकानिक्स रोर्डिनेट ट्रांसफर्मेशन में दे आर डुइंग भेरी ब्यूटिफुल जब है सो ये उ काम से सैटेलाइट को लगी चाहिए होता पीछे हम कैमरा राख्ने सोची रह दे आर वर्किंग अन एडिशीएस सो आई थिंक ये कुछ सब नहीं चाहिए अब मैथमेटिक्स है मैं ये टेक्निकल तीतर डिटेल न भेप अल दोज इन्फर्मेशन मैं जे जे भनी रहनी एवरी स्टेज में अब अर्बिटल मेकानिक्स रटिच्यूड कंट्रोल रिटर्मिनेशन ये एकदम इंपोर्टेन्ट हो थैंक यू थैंक यू एक्सक्यूज मे मैं एट सान तब को ये सैटेलाइट में के मेकानिजम छ जिससे गैमा डिटेक्ट कर पिन डाइड पीआईएन पिन डाइड ते डाइड नहीं हो रेडिएसन लगे तेज पल्स जेनेट कर पल्स काउंट करने पी पल्स पर मिनट भन न काउंट पल्स काउंट पर मिनट कर सके अब 
पर मिनट को काउंट ना भू यूज कर सेवर्ड के यूनिट में कन्वर्ट भी कर सकता हमें इज सीम्पली द पल्स काउंट भन न जी धे रेडिएसन भाई धीरे पल्स आने भाई पर मिनट में कति रे नंबर अफ काउंट आए तो अनुसार प्रपोर्सनली हमें रेडिएसन कति लेवल तो पल्स गैमा बड़ मत क्रिएट हो क्योंकि तब कर्सन को आई रहा है तो गैमा को हो कि अब अर कुछ को होने कुछ के मेकानिजम छ खास सेंसर नहीं अब हम तो अब यो हम सेंसर बनाने होने ये हम कि हो रहा कि नहीं गैम रेडिएसन सेंसर लेखे है बहुत डिटेल में तो गाइना अब भि तर बेसिकली इट इज अ पिन डाएड भन न डाएड नहीं हो एटा है तर अब अरु रेडिएसन के भाई कुछ हमें अच हेन पर्चा डाटा सीट हेन पर्च आई हेव नो आइडिया अलग लाइन अरुण रेडिएसन राकेश को यो ल फेब्रुअरी में लंच करने होने प्लां सबले सपोर्ट कर गो फंड में अलग सपोर्ट कर फाइनेंसिंग स्टेटस क्या पुगो रिक्वायर क्वेंटी चांस मिस होने हो कि अब इसको लंच सर्विस प्रोवाइडरसंग हमें साइन कर सके कंट्रैक्ट है तेस में मैं यदि ट्वेंटी फाइव अप फ्रंट तीर्न सक इटलमेंट में तीर्चुने साइन कर सके सो इटलमेंट में आप तीर्न पर्ने यदि उठेन अलग फाइव के जी गो फंड मे में उठी सके सो ट्वेंटी फाइव में फाइव ले हल्का भाव ट्वेंटी फाइव के ट्वेंटी के मैं अब महीने पीछे वन के जी दिशा साइन करेंट्रैक्ट लगे अब हम साइंटिस्ट साथी सपोर्ट कर थैंक यू सर ते अब यो यो अगर जो यदि हमें अब ट्वेंटी फाइव के भाई बेसि उठ्य हम चाहे नेक्स्ट सैटेलाइट को यूज करने क्योंकि हम जो अब प्रोग्रेस में अब सैकेंड सैटेलाइट को लगी अब डिस्कसन सुरू भैर है कैमेरा यूज करने हम अगड़ी बढ़ने कुछ भैस टीम में कुछ भैस सो ट्वेंटी फाइव के मिनीम उठ्य तो एकदम राम तो भाग बेस उठ्य हम नेक्स्ट लंच को लगी यूज करने पैसा रोको कुछ ये सब एकदम ट्रांसपेरेंट कल कति दिए हमें हम होम पेज में लिस्ट कर जल्द नाम राखे सपोर्ट करने वहाँ नाम जो नाम जो जो चाहे अब विदउट नाम एनोनोमस बस् चाहूँ वहाँ को एनोनोमसली ये उठ्य सब कुछ हम होम पेजम छके थैंक यू सो डू हेव एनी मोर क्वेश्चन ओके लुक्स वी डोट हेव एनी मोर क्वेश्चन सो डू हेव एनीथिंग टू से एट लास्ट राकेश अल अब आई एम भेरी हेप्पी विथ माई टीम है अब अब हम अब इंजीनियरिंग पढ़ाखे अब सामान छेन अथवा ये छेन तो छे भे अब इंटरनेट लेकिन कुछ एक्सेसिबल छोटे ये छेन तो छे भिन छाँच अब मैं चाह सपोर्ट करने प्लेटफॉर्म दिने ये अब ओरान स्पेस बनाक अब तो प्लेटफॉर्म दिने को लगी हो रही जो चाहे ऊ बेला को इंजीनियर के स्टूडेंट अलग इंजीनियर भर काम करूँ वहाँ धेरे मेहनत करूँ है मैं तो प्लेटफॉर्म दिए ऊ करने सपोर्ट करने हो तर काम तो स्टूडेंट अथवा इंजीनियर करने हो सो आई एम भेरी हेप्पी हम टीम अस पच्चीस अिसेंटली अब पुलचुक स्टूडेंटर भी थेसिश कर 
रो काम एकदम राम अलग रिसेंटली पेपर पनी ऐसे बात हैं हम लोग यो जो नॉगी ना हैं डिटेल तो करा करें ना तोरे यो एटीट्यूड कंट्रोल को लागी से यो मैथमेटिक्स एकदम कॉम्प्लिकेटेड होने सा नॉगी ना पनी पूजी सके माले ली मतलब इट्स नॉट 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 सो इजी के तेरे अब कोने ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन आ रहा है � ज़्यादा तो तो घूमी रहने तो सब वही तो ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन और गॉन हुआ है ना अंते अंते वो सैटेलाइट लाइज़ हैं कौसे री स्टेबल पाना नहीं बंद है ये हम लेते हैं अब तो इसमें मैनेटिक क्वाइल और रहे रहे मैनेटिक फील्ड जेनरेट कर रहे तो फील्ड्स हैं यहाँ पर ऑट को फील्ड्स अंग अलाइन कर रहे रहे वो वरी सके को रहा ऐसे पनी पैस सके को है ना सो स्टूडेंट आर डूइंग फेरी फैबुलस जॉब रहा ते हो हमने जैसे अब प्लेटफॉर्म दिन हो काम करने वाले को नेपाल में ऑयले दिस तो यो साइन तो यो साइन ने बनने दिन और गए ते हो अब आई एम वेरी हैप्पी तो अब यो हम जैसे एक बार सेटलाइट बनाओ नहीं यानी सॉक्� इसको यू डेवलपमेंट को लागी यू फ्यूचर जॉब अपॉर्चुनिटीज़ आ रही है क्यों क्यों बंद है और कोई प्राकृतिक बंद है मैं भी अलग इतना मुझे आ गया मैं क्यों बंद बंद है मैं अपनी यहाँ बाहर बसे रहा मैं यहाँ आउने को कारण पन यू सैटेलाइट संबंधी काम करना पांचों बने रे बाहर आको ईपीएफ था वह बच्ची अप्लाई करे रहा ईपीएफएल में आए तो मॉले कंपनी करे क्यूब सेट में अंजून से 2009 में लॉन्च पनी करियो अन्य मॉले ये तो अब और एक कंपनी स्पेस रोबो एक्स स्पेस बनने में निकाम करे हैं ना अंते पहुँच चीज़ें क्या पनी बाव देखी यूएस को प्रोजेक्ट आप बच्ची से मॉले काम करना पाए नेपाली सिटीजन बाय बस इसे स्पेस रिलेटेड में काम डायरेक्टली ऊपर ना कंसल्टिंग इंजीनियर वाले उन्हें लाइक यदि गारो ना वाला तो डायरेक्टली कुने या वो ना साले ने हायर करने तेस्तु स्टेज में आए ना तेस्तु तेस्तु अथवा स्पेस मैन मिशन प्रोग्राम तेस्तु में काम करना जाए ना पाऊने बाकुले बनी यो ऑपरेशनि� uh, beginning, uh, okay, thank you. Uh, so now we'll conclude our today's session. So thank you everyone. Thank you Rakesh for joining us and giving yeah. so much nice presentation and so much so many information regarding the project for our audience. So we'll stop today's session and we will see you all on 27th Sunday at 9 p.m. Eastern. We have couple of presentations uh, not next uh, following week so thank you everyone thank you.